Okay, folks, we're back with the charger. Uh, we've now got a total of four of these elements hooked up for a 10 kilowatt dump load. And uh, we've been running for just over 20 minutes. Um, we're pushing about 30 amps, 170 odd volts. Um, this temperature probe here is on the IGBT base plate. And this one, if I select T2, that's on the radiator. And the actual probe here on the charger is actually on the um, that's on the inductor which is currently at uh, what is it at 38 degrees centigrade and our heating elements are blowing away happily here we've got some serious heat going on um, I'm not gonna make a huge video on this just bringing the power up here we're on the 32 amp supply here we're running six square cable which is warm but not too um, well, we're, we've, got, we've got just over five and a half kilowatts at perfect power factor there. It's 360 degree phase angle. Um, the only problem I'm having so far are these little uh, these little NTCs here. They're not happy bunnies. They're supposed to be 15 amp parts, and I've got five of them in parallel. Uh, but I think I think they're going to pop. So I have the correct ones coming in from DGK, just a bit of a courier screw up today. Um, so yeah, we've got, uh, got some serious power going on here. I'm going to leave it on for about an hour, see what, what happens. And we'll come back then and uh, see where we're at. But a rad again just feels cool, there's no, uh, I can't really detect any kind of heating in it, but temperature probe there, uh, just over 20 degrees on the add, and about uh, 35 on the IGBT base plate. Uh, so we've got about a 15 degree centigrade difference between the chill plate and the radiator. And, uh, so yeah, I mean this is what we're actually got now is as much power as I can safely draw from a 32 amp uh, 230 volt supply. So um, back soon. Okay guys, we're at uh, T plus 38 minutes. Um, inductor temperature is now 43 degrees centigrade. IGBT temperature 37 and 88 or about 22 and a half. Now, something a little bit strange going on here, okay? Now, my power clamp here tells me we got about 5.6 kilowatts of power. Now, if you, do, if you do the sums on that and you divide that by approximately 230 volts, you get about 25 amps of input current. And if I just go over to this old amp clamp that I have here on it, it's a very old one, but it's a good one. And uh, you can see that display too well there, but that actually says, strangely enough, about 25 amperes of input current AC. Now, if I go back to the power clamp, I change to the uh, setting for current. Power clamp actually tells me I've got 35 amperes coming in at 227 volts AC. Now, I'm guessing that this could be peak current and that the other clamp is showing me RMS current. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what that's about. Put the light back on is so like useful. Um, so let's go through the settings here on this. We got uh, 
only a very small quantity of reflected power power factors practically bang on and uh, about 227 volts 50 hertz going in There we go, back to about 5.65 kilowatts, and uh, we're up to what up to 44 degrees centigrade on the inductors, and T plus 41 minutes. Radiator temperature 21.6, IGBT at 37. Okay, back soon. Okay, folks, I think I'm going to have to. Uh, shut down a little bit ahead of schedule because one of my heating elements over here seems to be trying to start a fire on me um, so just to do a last little round up uh, 56 minutes uh, 45 degrees C on the inductor IGBT base plate just under 38 degrees um, 88 or 22 odd. Um, smell of smoke starting to build up from that damn thing now. Everything else is looking pretty good. Come on, wake up. There we go. So we're well, still around the 5.6, 5.7 kilowatts, 25 amperes input. Um, I'm uh, looking pretty good, so <coughs> I'm going to just go for shutdown at that, we're at 57 minutes, I think it's uh, starting to go on fire on me, so, okay, I'll be back with some more testing once I put this fire out.